Hello. I made this tube amplifiers this weekend and it uh, runs off 12 volts with uh, no high voltage in internally. Uh, the tubes it uses are 12K5s which are designed to operate in, for car applications uh, back in the old days without needing a high voltage uh, source. I have it connected to a, a Bluetooth module here and right now it's been on for a while and uh, the tubes are warm ready to go. Uh, the 12, uh, the module uh, is also for a car radio, so it also operates at uh, 12 volts. With that said, I'll uh, give you a short, short demo of it. So turning the module on, uh, that's the radio. It has auxiliary, uh, which is not connected right now. Uh, SD card, I think, is next. That's Bluetooth. Um, SD card. And back to Bluetooth next. House and Senate to the concern. This. Okay, um, I need to turn my computer on so right now it's running off Bluetooth these are uh, just uh, old-fashioned home stereo speakers uh, full range And that's my setup there here. Uh, this is right now at maximum volume, so it's not very loud, but as you can see, it's loud enough to be clear. I'm probably about, I don't know, three meters, three yards away right now. And I'm recording with a camera, so it's all mono. So I'll uh, quickly share the schematic and talk about um, the, the circuit I'm using um, for those who may want to try to build this. Uh, the tubes I'm using are 12K5s um, for each channel. I have uh, two amplifier blocks, which are identical, and each uh, amplifier uses a um, uh, 12K5 tube. Uh, so a few words about the tube. The tube uh, is designed to work uh, as a driver stage um, in audio frequency applications uh, and uh, intention of these tubes were in the old days uh, to be able to work at uh, 12 volts directly without uh, using a vibrator high tension system. Um, a vibrator was a device that uh, converted the 12 volt source or any source for that matter so there are different types of these uh, uh, typically 12 volts to a higher voltage um, used for tubes so i guess there were also six volt vibrate vibrator systems um, and this is an electromechanical device that um, chops uh, the dc voltage meaning it turns uh, it switches the dc on and off to a transformer to um, convert the the voltage to a um, higher voltage, step it up. Uh, so you can't apply DC to a transformer. Uh, uh, so you, you would need to have um, an AC signal and um, this is how they achieved it back then. They would uh, chop the um, DC voltage with a mechanical switch on and off to the transformer. And of, of course, these days uh, that would be replaced by a solid state. Um, system uh, when needed.
um, if you do decide to do some research on um, uh, Vibrate or I, uh, systems, uh, yeah, you, you can probably look it up online. I would suggest to uh, use the term uh, tube fibers or rather, rather than just plain uh, fibers or as um, uh, words uh, change meaning over uh, decades. So here's the schematic I'm using. Um, uh, for each channel, it's going to be identical. So um, you can pause this uh, schematic and um, uh, use it if you would like to. Um, I'm using the 12K5 as uh, stated before. The 12K5 is a space charge tube um, and is designed for 12 volts, lower voltages. Uh, as such, the control grid is uh, further away on pin 2 from the cathode down here. It's much closer to the anode. Um, so typically, um, we would apply uh, on standard triodes the control voltage to the pin down here um, that is closer to the to the cathode. But in this case, it's uh, this pin 2, just another uh, thing to bear in mind. Um, so here's where the signal comes in. Uh, this capacitor here is uh, just a blocking cap, so uh, you won't get any DC from this module into this tube. And um, this 22 ohm is just to bias the, the tube, uh, have a slightly negative voltage um, on the grids with, with respect to ground. Um, and uh, a transformer is used to um, uh, transfer the audio signal to a lower impedance. Uh, so I have a 1300 to 8 ohm transformer. The data sheet actually indicates to use 800 to 8, so 800 ohms uh, for the uh, primary side or this side. Uh, would be a better choice. The reason I'm using 1300 to 8 is uh, just because of um, cheap available um, uh, transformers nowadays. And I'll uh, sh show the ones I'm using um, on the next slide. Um, so um, your, your module um, would basically attach uh, to this uh, input, your output of each channel. Um, of the of the module would uh, go to uh, uh, one of these tube channels. So this could be a left or right channel uh, if, it's a, if it's a stereo module. Uh, in this case, case, I'm just using a generic name out. So this by this, I'm just meaning the the output signal from the module. And, and this this could be any source uh, uh, that that can drive the, the this this tube uh, in essence. Uh, um, if you do build just this without the module, just this uh, tube section, um, you could uh, just touch this uh, note here and you should be able to hear a hum at the uh, speaker indicating that it's working correctly. The, the module I'm using is very similar to the one pictured here. You can pick such uh, Bluetooth uh, modules, which have FM auxiliary, SD card readers uh, on many vendors, such as AliExpress, Amazon, and eBay. Um, uh, typically, they will have the, the signals labeled on the, um, on the board, uh, so you, you can follow the, the signals um, on the board, but uh, and the, the vendor may also give you a diagram uh, so, so what you would need to do is connect the uh, supply uh, the, to, to the module. In this case, a 12 volt goes here. Uh, I think the positive side is on this side and then negative on this side on this one uh, by the color coding I see here. And uh, the outputs uh, would go to the uh, each of the tube channels. So one channel will go to the left audio and the other channel will go to the uh, right audio output. And the uh, ground would, would also go to the um, to the same ground that the, the tube is connected to. Um, so I think I bought one of these for around seven dollars. So they aren't very expensive. 
and uh, quite available. The transformers I'm using are um, the, the ones pictured here. Um, they are um, a 1300 to 8 ohms uh, transformation factors. Um, so as I indicated before, if you can find uh, 800 to 8 ohm uh, transformer, that's a better choice. I just uh, use these uh, because uh, they're available um, and quite small and uh, very inexpensive. Um, uh, another uh, thing to bear in mind if you're shopping for these uh, transformers, I've also seen uh, 600 ohm to 600 ohm um, one to one transformers. They look the same, uh, but do not buy those uh, 600 to 600, the one to one transformers. It will not work in this application. Um, one thing that you may have difficulty um, is figuring out which, which side is which, um, which side goes to the speaker. Um, one way to determine that is if you have an ohmmeter, uh, you can measure the resistance on the, each uh, side uh, uh, from pin to pin. And the side that is the lower resistance, lower DC resistance uh, will typically be the, the eight ohm side. Um, and uh, the side that has the higher resistance, DC resistance, would be the, the higher impedance side that goes to the tube. Um, just a few closing remarks. So you, you will need a seven pin socket for, for the tube. I like to label mine, uh, my pins on the tube from one to seven, uh, just makes my uh, construction easier, at least in my opinion. So I know where to wire to. Um, and I typically stick the tube in the socket and make sure the the heater pins line up with what's on the data sheet uh, as a check. So uh, I believe on this one, it's pins uh, three and four. You should uh, see a low resistance between the, the pins three and four. And um, also pins five and six on this tube are shorted internally. So you would also uh, read a, a low resistance on those if you were to use an ohm meter. Um, so if you do decide to build one of these, uh, bear in mind that um, it's a very inefficient uh, amplifier. Um, it's not very loud. It's just uh, mainly for novelty. Yeah. Um, we are using uh, 0.9 amps just for the filaments. That's 10.8 watts of power at 12 volts. And um, I think each channel will only deliver I don't know, less than 40 milliwatts. So it's a very inefficient um, amplifier. But, um, and um, it's just more for novelty if you do decide to build one. Um, and the, the tubes do get hot. Uh, so build this at your own risk. Don't um, uh, leave it on unattended in my opinion so I, I always turn mine off when, when not in use uh, th thank you for watching um, bye